Hey, Clayton Bates here, one of the only people ever to be authenticated as a Shopify expert on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to resize your product images. I'm going to show you how to do it at the product level on the collections so they look all neat. Now, with that being said, uh, if you comment size below, you'll also be entered into uh, giveaways that we're going to be doing. Thousands of dollars worth of stuff I'm giving away. So comment size below. If you have any questions about what I'm going to show you, leave me a, a comment below, or you can click the link below to get a free video review of your website, going over tips and suggestions. When you submit that, just ask me a question about the product resizing and I'll answer it there. So with that being said, let's jump into the video. All right. So the first way I'm going to show you how to do it on the brand new free themes that Shopify has, Horizon and all the new themes. And then I'm going to go in and show you how to do it on Dawn theme and then give some suggestions for any of the other themes. The first way I'm going to show you moving forward, probably in six months to a year from now, all the themes are probably going to do it this way. So let's sort of get into it. So if you go online store themes and you go into your customizer here, basically every type of theme template has an option like this these days over the last year or two. But if you go to here, like featured collection or into your collection page, then most likely will be a setting. So if you go collections here, then default collections, and then click collections here, we have all these tabs down the side here. So see how one of the tabs, it will be under product card, product image. So if we click here, aspect ratio, automatic portrait, square landscape. So if you actually select square or portrait or whatever like that, it's going to auto resize all of your products. And then if we go to like a featured collection here and then we click featured collection, then the product, the medium, and then we go to square. See how that just resized them all. Now that looks super weird, right? So if we do portrait, it still looks weird. Now we'll have to manually resize them if they're like that. You can try to change it to like three per row, uh, different things like that uh, to get the right size. But this is sort of like a strategy that works for probably 90, 95% of people. Uh, but if it doesn't work for you, you're going to have to go back and resize them all or use an app, which I'm going to talk about later. If we go into the Dawn theme here, it's in very similar spot. So if we go to the collection, so collection, uh, default template, and we have our thing here, we click product grid, and then it might have a image ratio. So we can change the ratio like that. So see how it just changed. This one adapt the image, it changed to this. Also, just so you know, this Dawn theme, my team actually coded in over a hundred options extra on top of Dawn into this theme. And if you want this theme, just grab, uh, jump into my school community. There'll be a link below and I'll give you this theme, no worries. It's like a turbocharged version of Dawn. There's also this other theme that I'm going to make a future video about um, called Falcon Pro. It's a third party theme. I normally don't recommend third party themes. Um, but this is a really good ben, bang for buck theme, which I'll leave a link below, but it works very similar. A lot of the themes are very similar to this as well. You go to the collection, you click, click collections, you click products, and there will be like something to resize it here. Oh, actually, I think you might click collection for this one. Then theme settings, yeah. So see how it's all, always in sort of a similar sort of area. Image ratio, square, adapt to image, um, portrait, all this different stuff here. So see how it's all in a very similar sort of area. Some themes will have theme settings and then there'll be like products here, like product card, for example, and see how it says image ratio. You can actually change it in here as well. All right, so the next option is to actually go into your products and resize them inside the product. Now, like I said before, if the last thing that we did works on 95% of your products, then you come in here and just fix a couple up. That's probably going to be good. So if we go to products here and then we click into our product here, we just want to scroll down to the image here and click on it. And this is going to take us inside the image. And then we have these two features here, crop and transfer, transform and resize. So for example, you could click resize, um, unselect this lock button, then do like 800, by like 800, for example, and press apply. Now see how that resized it to a square. Now that image looks super weird that way. So sometimes you don't want to do that. A lot of the times when you have people in the images, that doesn't really make sense to do. 
it makes more sense to crop it. So if we click crop, we can actually select what we want to do. So let's say square, for example. So see how it, it now is outlining the square and we can actually move this to the position that we want it to, to be. So if we actually move it up, it's got the person's face in it, it's got the shirt, it's got the logo, all that sort of stuff. And then we just press apply. Now see how it hasn't made it look funny. Now it's all there in square and you can do portrait, whatever sort of thing. And then you just come up here and press save. If you're not sure, you can just go do control uh, Z um, or just X out of it and not save sort of thing. So see how it's like leave without saving. So basically it safeguards you from messing up the image. All right, so the next way to do it is actually come to the Shopify app store. I searched resize product images in the app store and there's a few different apps that actually do this. Now, I normally don't recommend to do this. The main reason is if you have thousands and thousands of product images and something goes wrong here, it's gonna be a little bit annoying. So I don't normally recommend it. We used to always use uh, this app here photo resize like four or five years ago. I'm pretty sure it's this one where it just charges you. See how, like how many per, per image it just charges you that and a flat rate after that amount. So this could be a cost effective way to actually do it. But the way I look at it is you should reach out to someone and ask if, the, if this is the best way to do it. What I recommend is send me an email, send me the website link and I'll tell you if it, if it makes sense to use it or not. Um, and like always, if you want a free video review of your website going over tips and suggestions, uh, you can do that below on the link as well. When you actually submit it, just say, hey, can you give me some advice on resizing product images as well? And we'll do that in the review as well. All right, the next way you can actually do it is on pixlr.com. So P-I-X-L-R.com backslash editor backslash, I'll leave a link below. And this is sort of like going into the product and resizing it but it's a little bit more flexible to do other different things. You can also use things like Canva and stuff to do exactly the same thing as what I'm gonna do now. So if we click create new, we can actually create what size we want. So if you want square, portrait, whatever, um, if you're not sure, let me know down below on or send me a link, uh, send your website link and ask me and I'll tell you. Um, but basically width and height. So for square, let's just say 800 by 800 and then press, uh, uh, press create. Now this sort of made an image that's square and we drag and drop our image to here. And the thing, why would you wanna do it on like a place like this or Canva or something? If you wanna add like your logo into the image or you wanna add some animations or, or not animations, you wanna add some extra stuff on top, this is a great place to actually do that. Um, do I recommend uh, most people do it this way. No, but you can also do it this way. All right, so I'm gonna show you an example here. So if we have our product image here and we drag and drop it from our desktop, desktop and then press add current, it actually puts it in here. You can click this plus and do it from your desktop as well. We can resize it, do all different things, stuff like that. If you wanna make some edits and stuff, this is really good. So for example, let's just say your product image was like this, right? and you're like, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't fit when we resize it, for example. You could put some background color behind it. So you click here, um, you could like paint uh, the, taint, the, paint, the paint tin. So let's get the color here like this. So see how now I just put the color behind it and then I could use the brush here. So little things like that, it makes sense to do it this way. But let's get back to this image. So we'll just resize it back to square. Now see how I put like a little thing here? We could drag another one into here, resize it to small. So see how it sort of makes sense if you wanna put that in the corner or something, or you wanna put some text here. Um, like I said, 99% of people watching this, you probably don't wanna put anything on your image. You don't wanna put text, you don't wanna do anything. There is some occasions where it makes sense, the main reason why I normally don't recommend putting uh, text on your image because a lot of people recommend this is that if your font that you put on this is different to your website, it's gonna look weird. And then let's just say you want to change your font on your website in the future, then it looks really weird that all your product images have the different font. Then you have to go back and change it. The other thing too is that a lot of people think that 
when they have their product image, there's like four images for their products and they want to put text and explain everything on all their different images, right? But the thing is, most people are never going to see those images. So you're, you're putting all this effort, extra effort into something no one's ever going to see. Um, but like I said, if you're not sure, shoot me a message and I'll let you know what makes sense. Just ask me the question and I'll let you know what makes sense. All right, that's it for the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you comment size, down below, you'll be entered into our new draw where I'm giving away thousands of dollars worth of stuff. So just uh, comment size and you'll be entered automatically. Thanks for watching. If you want a free video review of your website going over tips and suggestions, there'll be a link below and there'll be a video somewhere where you can learn more about it. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a good one.